now if you don't know kiss is the goat when it comes to press on nails so when they drop this salon extend gel system you know i had to try it and i'm sure i am late to the game because i'm a stickler for things that i'm familiar with but we're going to try this kit today and i'm going to walk y'all through step by step so it comes with an led light inside of the kit as well as the usb cord that you'll use for that light now this is in replace of your glue this is a gel adhesive that is a collagen gel so i am excited to see how that works and the starter kit comes with this cute set of nude press-ons it also has your prep kit inside of this starter kit and if you are a press-on girly like i am you already know this prep kit comes in every press on nail package that kiss sells now it also comes with instructions which i read um, because it is a little different process than what you normally would do with your regular press ons but regardless if you are doing a regular nail glue or if you're doing a gel adhesive the most important part to making sure that your press-ons last is your prep work. Now, I started using the file because I wanted to use the kit in its entirety. I started using the file that came with the kit. And honestly, it's a little flimsy for me, but you need to go in and rough your nails up a little bit with a maybe 80 to 100 grit nail file. This removes any of the residue from maybe a previous nail set. It also gives your nail, your nail extension, a rough surface to hold on to. Like I said, that file wasn't working well for me, so I just went to my tried and true. I get a 100 and 180 grit nail file from Sally's, and this is what has worked great for me. I also like that I can hold it a lot better than that smaller file. So, so after I have roughed all of my nail services, surfaces, excuse me, I make sure that I clean up my free edge so it's not jagged and it's even. So as my nail is growing out, at least I know it's got a new clean easy surface even surface to grow from now after you file the surfaces of your nails and you make sure that your free edge is good and clean You'll take your apple wood stick, which is what I have in my hand, orange wood stick, excuse me. I'm renaming these supplies. You take your orange wood stick and you clean your cuticles out. You wanna make sure that you push that cuticle back. You wanna make sure that you don't have any residue on your cuticle line. If you do, it will disrupt the longevity of your nails. So I just take my time with the pointy end of the stick and I clean out around the cuticle of my nail bed. I want it to be like a mini manicure, an express manicure. And if you really wanna get fancy, which I do sometimes, I will get out the bowl of hot water and I will soak my hands. That will soften the cuticles to make it more pliable for you to work with it and make it more manageable in your manicure process. But please, 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 ladies, do not skip this process. If you do not prep your nails properly, it doesn't matter if you're using regular nail glue or you're using a builder gel, if you're using a collagen gel, it doesn't matter what adhesive you're using. If it is going on a ill-prepared surface, it is not gonna last. So don't skip this step.
Now after all of my surfaces have been prepped and I have cleared my cuticle area and pushed my cuticles back, I am going to take some alcohol. Let me turn the bottle around. This is just some 70% alcohol, but you can also take your acetone and wipe all of the dust and any other debris, the oil off of your nail bed. This is the last step of prepping your nails. You are now ready to start adhering your press-ons. Now at the last minute I changed my mind and I decided that I wanted to use the more iridescent press-ons instead of the nails that came in the kit. But they are all the exact same press-on nails. You can use this LED light and this collagen gel glue with any press-on nail, okay? And so now I'm going to separate out my nails to match my nail bed and don't worry about this little bit of green on my thumbnail that's just where some water got underneath an old press on set that I probably should have took off sooner than what I did okay now as I walk through selecting the nail that fits my nail bed the best I'm gonna lay each one of them out you don't want them too big or too small this is what the gel glue looks like oh I'm excited for this so now that I have selected all of my nails I'm going to take my file and I'm going to etch inside of my press on nail just like I did when I was prepping my nail when you give two rough surfaces a space to hold on to your glue or your gel they hold better so instead of a smooth press on nail going on top of a rough natural nail you want them both to be rough now I am taking my collagen gel I'm just gonna call it gel glue okay and I'm going to smooth it all over my nail surface and I am pushing my press on onto that and holding it for just a second now guys remember I have never done this type of application before so I may get some stuff wrong but we are gonna learn together and I noticed that the moment that I let my nail go and I hadn't cured it it started to separate so you have to make sure that you keep a good hold on your nail while it cures now according to the instructions you want to cure for five to seven seconds lift off of the light and then cure for a full minute so I was just making sure that that nail was reapplied and looking back over the instructions. I'm going to hold it under this light for a few seconds and then I'm going to go back under the light for a full minute. And honestly, I don't think it was a full minute, but we're going to figure this out. This is something new for me. You never know what works for you until you try it. I know oftentimes we are creatures of habit. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But what if there is something that is better for you? And in my mind, this collagen gel or this gel glue is better for my nails or may be better for my nails than my normal Loctite super glue that I use. If you don't know how I apply my press-ons with regular gel, excuse me regular nail glue I'm gonna link it right here so that you can go and watch a regular application of press on nails so after I have cured that nail for a minute the light itself will pop off so it will only stay on for one solid minute and I'm adding a little extra time because remember I had released this nail and it had lifted. So once you finish with your minute cure, you can move on to the next nail.
Now I've sped us up a little bit because this process is the same for every nail. We are going to apply a liberal amount of gel glue to make sure the surface of your nail is covered. You're going to press down your press on nail, hold it underneath the light for five to seven seconds and then release and then go back under for one minute. This LED light that comes in this KISS Salon Extend Kit has a self timer already in it. So after one minute, it will cut itself off. It makes application thoughtless. And what I do like about this kit is it seems to me that this gel glue is healthier for the nail. Even though it feels secure, it probably does not have the same hold as the Loctite super glue that I use. Now, disclaimer, if you are very heavy handed, you do a lot with your hands. Y'all know I'm a licensed cosmetologist and there is not too many glues that I have found that have been able to hold my press ons longer than four or five days. I use the exact same super glue, the Loctite super glue. And I know that's scary for some, but that is the only thing that I have ever found that will hold my press on on longer than, like I said, three, four, five days without popping off. So when I seen this kit, I am hoping that this is a alternative to my Loctite glue because I would love nothing more than to let my natural nail grow out but I just believe that I have a softer nail. And even if I get some good growth, it still breaks. I have been wearing press-ons since 2018, but I have been doing acrylics since I was 15 years old. I'm 36. So from 15 to about 30, I was wearing acrylics and just grew tired of it. I got tired of being in the nail salon all the time. I got tired of having to get the feels. I noticed that my nails were getting weaker and weaker. So I took a full year from wearing anything, which was really hard for me. And I was just doing shellac. Well, you have to drill shellac off. So I'm like, I'm right back in the same boat. So I started wearing press on nails and fell in love. And I am hoping that this gel glue is like the new thing for me. Because if I can get closer to just wearing my natural nails, that would be so on point for me. And who else is a creature of habit? If you are one of the girlies that once you find something that works, you don't stop using it, leave it in the comments. I've been wearing press ons and I have no intentions of getting away from it, but trying something new may improve the nail experience that I have. And I would encourage you guys to try this because again, while I am curing these nails, they feel secure. They feel tight like my nail glue. And so we're going to see how long they last. Now I'm applying my last nail. And I am going to cure for five to seven seconds. Lift up and apply one minute of LED light. And I have applied all 10 nails. They feel good and secure, but I'm gonna wear these nails for as long as I can. And I will come back with an update and let y'all know how long they lasted for me but this is a great alternative for those who don't want to use actual nail glue and instead you want to use a gel nail with an led cure i'm in love i'm obsessed with the application i'll let y'all know how long they last now here is the finished product they look like an acrylic set i don't care what nobody says i love kiss i love their press on products you can order this directly from kiss.com and try it yourself leave a comment if you've ever tried this type of kit before and let me know if you love it or not thanks for watching guys y'all have a great day